Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. I'm 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 gonna use this video to process the 22p collection because as you may know, last year 21p I purchased the caramel Chanel 19 bag. Um, I got it early. I didn't know how hyped it was going to be. And that bag didn't work out for me. And 22P has a few things that I'm kind of interested in that I wouldn't mind sharing here because tomorrow I am going to go and see the collection in store. And in Australia, from what I'm told anyway, my local store is launching tomorrow. So when you see this video, I will probably be at the boutique um, and we'll see if any of this stuff is there and if I bring any of this stuff home with me. I'm going to be focusing primarily on the handbags, costume jewelry, small leather goods and other accessories and I'm just going to take you through the things that I am liking. I'm not going to take you through the things that I think are yuck or I wouldn't buy or what have you because time is precious okay so we're going to go to handbags and I think if you know me the obvious handbag to have a look at and I mentioned it in my vlog um, yesterday is the denim collection and so Yes, there are some unicorn 19s and some multicolors, but that's not really what I'm interested in. So there is a small flat bag in the printed denim, and this one is, it's a lovely denim, but it looks quite flat in terms of the texture, whereas my, just a minute, whereas my Chanel has quite significant quilts on it. Um, I prefer this texture to that flat denim and that's kind of similar to whoops the recent cruise collection denim was very flat as well now this one does have the lovely little feature over the top of the um, the strap so that's kind of interesting I think and inside it looks like it's got a zipper pocket it's got that age gold hardware it's got the uh, Mona Lisa pocket on the back and it's selling for six thousand and seventy dollars now it doesn't have any dimensions it's saying zero by zero by zero on the one that I am looking here so I don't know how big that bag is it says it's small will it be this size like this is a medium this is a medium um, the issue is do I need another blue denim bag when I have this one and I have that Louis Vuitton speedy up there probably not uh, but the black denim is really interesting so I would like to look at those and there's a few people who would like me to have a look as well okay so I found the black denim bag um now i'm looking at it i probably think no again there's no dimensions on this one but this one's six thousand four hundred and ten which is more expensive than the other one. Oh, okay so that's a large okay that's a large so i'm wondering how big that actually is um there is also a little um like pouch um, with the frayed edges in the blue denim it looks kind of like the bucket bag that one's cute as well again i'll look at it but i know that bucket bags don't work for me people say would you pay that for a fabric bag like this one was 5650 and that's from 20b or c so that's two years ago um and so i think that's kind of reasonable price increase for a seasonal bag we are talking chanel here um yeah it's all right maybe it'll be better when i see it in person it's interesting that on the chanel app that they don't actually have any of the dimensions listed for those bags now there are a bunch of other bags on here i'm i'm not really interested in looking at those a lot of metallics um a lot of bags that have like different details on them there's a baby pink chanel 19 and another fabric bag but yeah there's so from bags it's really i just want to have a look at the denims now i did see a denim 19 
on Instagram and if I can find the picture in my camera roll I will show it to you I haven't seen that in any of the across the app but I have seen a 19 style in the pouch I think it is the app is really hard to navigate now that they've made these changes that you can't just you know go to one area and see the whole collection you've actually got to go to each individual little area so in the pouches there is a Chanel 19 style denim pouch now this one I think um, indicates that there could be a Chanel 19 in the denim but it's certainly not on the Chanel website or the app um, so stay tuned if that one's in there I will definitely have a look at that um, and depending on how that goes potentially that could be my 19 and maybe I might say sayonara to this one um, because I just love the fact that it has the um, the top handle so that could be rather controversial so that's pretty much it um, and I know that's really quick. The other thing in terms of bags and I don't really want any small leather goods. There's nothing that I'm looking at. There's some really, you know, novel pieces like travel pieces in the nylon um, that are kind of like um, a doppa kit and a beauty sleep mask and things like that. But yeah I'm not here to go through the whole collection and give my commentary on it because you've probably already seen plenty of videos like that so I'll show you what I'm looking at in terms of the costume jewelry and primarily it's in the earrings because I am loving my little feature earrings these ones I got um, second hand but brand new condition from Connor at the closet so if you don't follow Connor already maybe you should um, but there are some great earrings in this um, pre-collection for spring summer so first of all there's a pair of gold metal Chanel hearts which are kind of cute they've got a little bit of a dangle on them so they've got a bit of a hoop and a dangly CC um, inside of a heart um, they're 780 so they're actually not too bad and I think that um, they will be quite a popular item then if we move down and again I'm not showing you everything just the things that I'm interested in looking at so we can see whether or not I actually like them in person there is a pair of very long dangly multiple strands uh, I think they're calling it the accumulation look um, so just extra everything and there's a pair there's quite a lot of silver and diamantes in this particular drop which I like because I prefer those colors so yeah there's a pair of long dangly they're 1250 so they're quite a lot more than the other ones um, and there's also a pair of a CC stud with kind of loop chains as well so I wouldn't mind having a look at those but they're 1150 um, one pair that looks really interesting they're quite significant is a stud and it's, the stud has the star and then it falls down to the CC, a bow and the number five. They're 1320 so there's quite a bit in those. They've got a little pearl detail as well. Um, they look fairly significant so I'm not sure how comfortable they would be to wear but I definitely want to look at those. I'm not a hoop person but there is a pair of hoops in this collection that I actually am quite drawn to and that is the silver and crystal hoops that have like a carry cut um, crystal around the outside and then they have the CC's sitting inside of the hoop like they're floating so they look pretty cool too for a pair of statement hoops and those ones are at $1,210 and the last pair is a pair of oddly shaped studs so it's the double cc on one side and cc on another side again with that kind of carré cut stone or crystal i should say crystal stone diamante whatever you want to call it those ones are 860 so they look pretty good too so that's pretty much all i'm going to be looking at when i head into the boutique tomorrow um i know that's pretty boring but like i'm a little bit over chanel at the moment 
moment and the fact that the Chanel 19 has now gone up well over a thousand dollars is crazy um, particularly for me because you know I'm definitely one for the fabric bags but I think a thousand dollar increase on a fabric bag is just crazy um, I've got to go and see what my dog is barking at. One moment. And considering I've said in the past that the only Chanel 19s that I want are probably fabric tweed or some kind of texture. Sorry about this barking. The postie is going past. Where even was I? Bloody dogs and post people. Honestly, there's just something in them that does not like them. I like them. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to go into Chanel tomorrow. So this was just meant to be a brief video to give you an overview of what I'm interested in from 22P. I'm going to go into Chanel tomorrow. I'll take some pictures. So when I do shopping vlogs, I'm not filming. It makes things super awkward with other people in the store as well as my sales associate. I'll take photos and then I'll take you through my thinking and any unboxings that may come but uh, let me know what you're looking at for 22p it's kind of a divisive collection it's very novel and very casual and very girly and yeah interesting and I think like I just keep going back to the fact that I'm so glad I got this one when I did because yeah it really is the perfect the perfect denim um, for me and as much as I'm tempted by those graffiti ones I feel like they might just be a little bit too much but they might be totally different in person lots of things don't photograph particularly well so we'll see how it goes I want to know what you're interested in particularly at these prices so please let me know down in the comments below I'll see you on the flip side of my shopping trip if you are new here I usually put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays so I will see you in my next one bye mm -hmm.